Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. You're watching Spotlight on Union. I'm Edith Thomas bringing you updates on all of our local events. The Union Recreation Department is excited to continue the 2023 Films and Fins Dive-In Movies at the Columbian Swim Club, celebrating summer at the pool. The movie lineup continues with Black Panther, Wakanda Forever on August 10th, and closing up is Disney's Atlantis, The Lost Empire on August 30th. Space is limited and films will begin at sunset. For more details, call 908-686-4200, visit uniontownship.com, and find us on social media at TWP Union NJ. Register today for any one of Incrediflix's summer animation and movie making programs hosted by the Department of Recreation. The second session will run from August 14th to the 18th. The program is open to ages 7 through 13, and classes range from live action to claymation movies. They're bringing imagination and creativity to life. To register, visit uniontownship.com. Every Thursday until October 26, you can find our new farmer's market located at Beer Temple Park, 1300 Winslow Avenue, running from 1 to 7 p.m. It'll feature fresh locally grown fruits and vegetables from Alstead Farms, plus baked goods, teas, herbs and jams, and much, much more. For more information, visit UnionTWPFarmersMarket.com and follow on social media at TWPUnionNJ and at their new Instagram at TWPUnionNJFarmersMarket. The Township of Union Police Department presents the Big Ice Cream Social, Tuesday, August 8th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Magic Fountain Creamery, 1081 Stuyvesant Avenue, Union. Come out and meet our local police officers in the community. For more information, visit uniontownship.com and follow on social media at Union Police NJ. Another tasty business joined the Township of Union at their grand opening earlier this week. Mayor Figueredo and many others welcomed the Juice House at their new location in the Centurion Building on Morris Avenue. Let's check it out. Hi, Mayor Figueredo and another great day in the Township of Union and I say that because we have a new business here in town called the Juice House as you just saw and I'm here with owner Mimi. And What's important about Mimi, just a little bit of background, she's not just some person that came from another town into the Township of Union to open a business. She is a mother of a student in our school system. She's a PTA mom. She has a vested interest in the township before this business even opened and now more so. Mimi, tell us a little bit about what you have here. I know it's called the juice bowl, but there's more than just that. Yes, we have juices, smoothies, acai bowls. Um, we also do have coconut, pitaya, and banana bowls for those that don't want, they want a little change. Um, and a little bit for everybody. Now, I want to come and I want to have something, but maybe I want to order ahead of time. Can I do that? Because there's a great line, there's a great energy in here today, and it's just good to see that. So how can I do that if I want to contact ahead of time? Okay, so ordering is done either online at thejuicehouse.com or you can download the app. And the app would be the same thing, the Juice House. Yes. So there's an app. Isn't that cool? She just opened a couple of weeks ago and she's got an app, right? Right. <laughs> and that's wonderful to hear. I'm going to just turn over to Anthony because this is part of the development that you're part of and that is so instrumental in bringing what's above us to have this below what's above. Anthony, tell us a little bit about this particular location. Absolutely. First of all, good afternoon everyone. We are here in Excited the Juice House. We are a Centurion um, River Park community 
35 boutique style apartments. Um, this is right here our anchor, okay, for this community. Okay, we have the Juice House, a great partnership. Um, look around, look at the energy, as the mayor said, and the clientele that's coming in here. And one thing, I don't know if you mentioned it earlier, but they are so into the community, they offer the, the Keene University discount app. So you will see once that university opens here real shortly in a few weeks, this line is going to be again out the door like it was two weeks ago on your soft opening. So we welcome you to uh, the Centurion family, and your success is ours. Thank you. Now, Mimi, hours of operation because, you know, people are hungry. They want to know. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Sundays right now, 9 to 3. That is subject to change. Okay, absolutely. And what is, let's, let's go to the smoothies here. What is your most popular smoothie here? Uh, so the Lady in Red and the Chocolate Peanut Butter. The Lady in Red, huh? <laughs> What's in the Lady in Red that really calls everybody in? Oh, it's just a great blend of the strawberry and banana. Just a little bit of honey. And how about your juices back up here? Uh, the favorite right now is the clap. The clap. Okay. And I see you have the bowls here. The most popular is the chocolate berry, number three on the acai side. Strawberry, banana, and Nutella. How can you go wrong, right, Mimi? And don't forget about the peanut butter favorites. Which one is that? Uh, the berry nutty. Very nutty. Ooh. This stuff is good. It's making me hungry. <laughs> so, Mimi, stop. first of all, give us your address so people know where you're at. Yes, 1181 Morris Avenue. Okay, and they can come in. You can order here. As you see, there's a line behind my Edis Damis, who's there recording us today. And we just kind of catty-cornered over here to film this behind the menu. So you can come in. You don't know what you want. Walk in and just check this out. It's all there. Help them order. If this is their first time. And I'm looking uh, inside the kitchen area. You have lots of people working. On average, what, how many employees do you have working? Uh, five or six. Okay. They're all from the community. A lot of high school kids are working for me. And I'm hoping to have Kane University students come in here as well. That's great to hear. So you are a community person giving back to the community by hiring people locally. And I see them there dicing and cutting and preparing all of these things fresh. This stuff is not cut yesterday and put in the fridge and ready to go, so. It's, it's all fresh, um, gluten-free, and um, just no added preservatives at all. Uh, I'm looking back at that, man. There's some great stuff there, Mimi. Congratulations. Welcome to the Township of Union. You already were here, but welcome with your business. Anthony, again, thank you for your thank investment you. in town. And uh, the Juice House, everyone, easy to remember. Come down Morris Avenue. If you went to Kane, you, you got to turn around, come back to the Juice House, give them a visit. What a phenomenal menu it is behind us. You're going to find something that you want at the Juice House. Mayor Figueroa, thanks for watching, everybody. The Special Improvement District's annual Girls' Night Out has returned and is bigger than ever. Ladies, join us Friday, August 11th from 6 to 10 p.m., located right in the Union Center. Come enjoy a night filled with live entertainment, a DJ, wellness sessions, food tastings, giveaways from over 30 businesses, and much, much more. Grab your girlfriends and come on out. Visit uniontownship.com, and for more information, find us on social media at Union Center Sid. Come shop with us at our Attic Treasures on August 12th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and August 13th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Union Senior Center as our vendors bring the old, the new, and the in-between. Whether you're looking for antiques, vintage items, collectibles, or new items, there's something for everyone. The event will feature up to 30 vendors and will have a homemade bake sale and food trucks on site. For more information, visit uniontownship.com and follow on social media at TWP Union NJ. We're going to take a quick break, but stay tuned to learn more about our upcoming events. Be sure to check us out on all social media platforms. On Instagram, follow at TWP Union NJ and at Union TV 34. On Facebook, we're at TWP Union NJ, and you can always watch some of your favorite videos on our Vimeo page. 
the black truck? Hey, Christina from accounting. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hey, I used to date a girl named Christina. Oh, really? Yeah, and then she dumped me for my best friend. You want to see some photos of them that I took? I don't. I thought we talked about this, buddy. Buzz and overshared again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna call a car. That's a smart idea. So, yeah, I know. That's why I did it. Hey, you're gonna get back to the top of the mountain. Does that mean I'm gonna get back with Christina? No. Oh. No, no. I'm an ex-drug dealer, and I'll be your sub today. Two milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal. A lethal dose is in here. Who gets it, I won't know. It's cheap, it's potent, and it's profitable. The sad reality is fentanyl is being mixed into everything now. More kitchen now. Welcome back. I'm Edith Thomas, and you're watching Spotlight on Union. The Union Township Education Association Community Schools Committee invites all residents to a town-wide block party, an event for everyone, Tuesday, August 15th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Ratkin Park. Come relax and dance to the DJ's music, enjoy kid games and a bouncy house, and check out the health fair featuring Optical Academy, Zumba, and reps from the YMCA. Also, savor local cuisine from our community restaurants like Mama's Southern Barbecue, Souvlaqueria, Sabor de Mi Tierra, and much more. For more details, visit njutea.com. Get ready to laugh for a good cause. Join me Thursday, August 17th at our Laughing for a Cause fundraiser as I host some amazing comedians. The show will be from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Knights of Columbus. 1034 Jeanette Avenue. All proceeds will benefit the Township of Union Police Activities League. Tickets are now available for purchase, so visit uniontownship.com for more information. The Township of Union, in partnership with the Yogi Juan Kenobi community, welcomes you to our upcoming Om Chilla, the ultimate Yogi Fest, Saturday, August 26, located at Rapkin Park. The event is based on community, yoga, music, and wellness. For more information, visit uniontownship.com, call 908-851-8500, and follow on social media at TWP Union NJ. Our Union Police Department recently held their annual National Night Out event. Many gathered to raise awareness of community policing and enjoy a night out with the family. Let's take a look. Everybody. I'm Comedian Joe Flora and also Police Commissioner of this great police force we have here right now. It's another very successful night out against crime here in Union. Got to give the police a good credit if you go. Gigantic crowd, good things, good food, good entertainment, dunk tank, a few people going in there. But we have a bunch of people here tonight that want to say a few words. But again, let's pass this around. First of all, our, our actual uh, our police director, I'm sure I'll get that straight one of these days. Chris? <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. This is one of our favorite events. Our police officers go out, they solicit businesses from within the community. They go out to different governmental agencies to come out and just give a great event for our residents and for our whole entire community. I mean, look at this. We got bouncy houses. We have some great food. It's just a great experience for everybody. and it pushes out positive relationships between our community and our police officers. So Sergeant LeJudis, Sergeant Campos did a phenomenal job putting this together. I'll let them say a little song. Thank you, Director. Uh, just want to thank the town council, the township itself, 
uh, for allowing us to you know, put this amazing event together every year. This is the 40th anniversary for National Night Out Against Crime. So we've tried to go a little above this year because it's uh, the anniversary. Uh, we got over 25 vendors, uh, township vendors, and support uh, this event to come out and explain to our residents how they support the community and, and the different aspects that they do as well. Uh, we also had uh, about 20 vendors that didn't show up that uh, should be recognized uh, every year. They come out and we hung a banner up for them. I'm sure that'll be displayed later on. Um, but more importantly, I uh, really want to thank the community itself for coming out and getting involved and building this bond and relationship with the officers and the department and the town itself. So without them, this event wouldn't be a success. So uh, at this point, I'll turn it over to Sergeant Campbell. So here you go, Sergeant. Thank you. I won't add too much more because they hit it right on the dot. Here in Union, I always say we're one community and a night like tonight is proves it. Without you, we cannot do this without everyone working as a team. And we love you, thank you. Couldn't say that even better. Now I want Committeeman Tim Bowser to say a few words. Thank you, Joe. I just want to say this is really a fantastic event. One of the things that's really impressing me is the number of young folks I see walking around, talking to the police officers and really getting to know the, uh, the officers here in town. But again, this is really a fantastic example of that true relationship that we're building here with the police department and the community. Thank you. I just want to thank the director uh, and his department for uh, putting on another great National Night Out uh, and for all their work and what they do with the community, not just on the first Tuesday of every August, but every single day. So I want to thank you, director, and, and your department for all the hard work that you do every day. Thanks, Bill. It's not often that we get to actually uh, highlight what a great job uh, our police department does specifically our community affairs guys, but community engagement is key. Uh, if you live in Union, you see our officers, our officers are visible. You know, uh, that is the, uh, the first link to the community and it's the first tool in crime prevention. So, you know, those are the things that we like to think about. Uh, these guys do a great job. And uh, even though we get to celebrate them tonight, they are, they're our heroes on a regular day, every other day. So uh, thanks guys for a job well done. And uh, thanks, Kamish. You know, I don't think I put it any better than these gentlemen have. This is a great night, and I'm shouting out to the police again. When they have community involvement, this is what it is. This is the way we are in union. The community comes together, and comes together with our police force. That's why we have such a great town here. I can't thank you fellas enough for putting this event together. Every year it's great, the 40th year. I think I've been to almost every one of them. But uh, it seems to get a little better every year. I've already eaten great food here. Too bad you're not here with us right now because it's really a great event. Next year, when we have National Night Out Against Crime, please come out. It's a great event. Thank our police for what they're doing. Have a good night. The Salem Roadhouse Cafe welcomes the David Braham Trio. Saturday, September 9th, doors will open at 7.30 and show begins at 8 p.m. Departing from their usual format at the Roadhouse, this performance will be held upstairs in the church sanctuary. For admission and for more information, visit townleychurch.org, call 908-686-1028, or email salemroadhouse at gmail.com. The Township of Union invites you to the 7th Annual Hispanic and Latino Heritage Celebration. This year is now a two-day event starting Friday, September 15th from 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. and ending Saturday, September 16th from 3.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. located at Beer Temple Park. 1300 Winslow Avenue. The event will include live music, Latino vendors, free salsa lessons, and much more. For more details, visit uniontownship.com and follow us on social media at TWP Union NJ. Union, please stay alert and stay connected. Sign up for Everbridge to receive customizable notifications. Scan the QR code or visit uniontownship.com to register. Lastly, the staff and crew at Union TV would like to express their deepest condolences to the family and friends of Tony Brennan, who passed away after a long fought battle with cancer.
Tony hosted the Union County St. Patrick's Day Parade from its start in 1996 until 2023, and was always available to share his wealth of knowledge and humor with parade viewers. He will deeply be missed. I'm Edith Thomas, and thank you so much for watching.